In reflecting on the earliest days of our Advent heritage, I'm drawn to the founding father of the Advent movement, William Miller. William Miller was born February 15, 1782, and died December 20, 1849, at the age of 67. It wasn't until the latter half of his life that he began developing his understanding of biblical prophecy and his belief in the imminent return of Jesus based upon his study of Daniel 8.14, also known as the 2300-day prophecy, until he was in his 40s and in around the 1820s. Yet he didn't start to preach and share his findings until the 1830s. As he started to preach and share his studies, the Millerite movement, as it came to be known, gained a growing following regionally in the northeast portions of the United States through the preaching and publishing work of William Miller himself. His teachings, however, exploded and gained national recognition through the efforts of an influential convert, Joshua V. Himes, a Millerite Advent believer and publisher who first published Miller's work in 1840 in a periodical known as The Signs of the Times. This publication led to a great influx of believers, many of whom either left or were kicked out of their historic churches because of their unique Advent beliefs and tremendous evangelistic zeal that they showed in their belief in the soon and very soon second coming of Jesus. Through careful Bible study, this Advent hope and the soon coming of Jesus, combined with an excited evangelistic zeal, ultimately led to some very precise date settings for the second coming. Several dates in 1843 and 1844 for the second coming of Jesus were initially fixed upon, based upon careful readings of the prophetic scriptures, but as those days came and went without the realization of the Advent hope, further study by the Millerite Advent preacher Samuel Snow established in August of 1844 that the exact date of the second coming would be October 22, 1844. While William Miller himself never advocated or set upon a specific date for the second coming, he nonetheless shared the belief and the anticipation, the excitement and the hope for that soon and very soon glorious appearing. I'm sure that most of you are aware, or should be, that Jesus did not return in the glorious rapture of his people on October 22, 1844. For you and I, this is perhaps good news, as we weren't yet born. And we have been given now the opportunity to experience God's grace and partake in that great rapture when Jesus will return to take us home. For the Millerite Advent believers, though, not so much. What followed the excitement and, and anticipation of October 22, 1844 came to be known as the Great Disappointment. Jesus did not return as the Advent believers had hoped, and the overwhelming disappointment and sadness and grief led many to abandon their faith in the Advent hope and soon coming of Christ. Most fell away some returning to their former churches, others simply abandoning their faith altogether. Still, a small group of these Millerite Advent believers did not abandon their faith and continued to search the scriptures for the biblical significance of what that day of October 22, 1844 and the 2300-day prophecy might have for this small remnant band of Advent believers. William Miller never gave up his hope and belief in the imminent return of Jesus. While acknowledging that errors had obviously been made in the understanding of the 2300-day prophecy concerning the coming of Jesus, he maintained a firm belief in the soon return of Jesus until his death in 1849. Having died in 1849, William Miller was never specifically a Seventh-day Adventist. That specific identity would not be adopted by the Advent believers until May 21 of 1863. Without question, however, God's work through William Miller and the Millerite Advent movement prepared the soil from which the Advent hope sprang and bore much fruit in and through those who persisted through the heartache of disappointment and continues even today 
to flourish as God's grace through the worldwide evangelistic zeal of the Seventh-day Adventist message. I'm Chaplain Art Bakewell. Thanks for taking this time with me. God bless you.